Carré, 55 BC. The army of Marcus Lucinius Crassus marches deep into Parthia. Crassus is in the east, looking for glory and riches. He needs both in the struggle for ultimate power back in Rome. For weeks he has marched after the Parthian army. They are drawing him deep into their own lands. Now the Romans think that the Parthians won't fight, and the Roman cavalry are too far ahead of the main column. They've ridden straight into a Parthian trap. Heavy cataphracts close in. If we can find a way to deal with the cataphracts, that'll be freaking amazing. The only thing that I'm thinking of, and probably the only thing that we can do for these guys, is throw a lot of pillar at them, and hopefully take a lot of them down that way. And easily massacre the outnumbered Roman cavalry. Now the Parthian horse archers are free to harass the Roman infantry. This is probably the sixth or seventh time that I'm trying this battle. And I'm still struggling to find a way to save that idiot, Crassus. Not gonna lie, he's gotten himself in a lot of shit. Crassus orders his legions to form the Testudo as protection against arrow fire. Testudo on the flat terrain while being surrounded does not help. This leaves them vulnerable in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh yeah, in that too. And the cataphracts are on their way. Yeah, and those cataphracts will serve as a wrecking ball and punch through our lines with ease. So that is not a good position. Only the few remaining Roman cavalry will have any chance of routing the Parthian horse archers. The few remaining Roman cavalry will actually serve as a distraction while we evacuate our troops from the shitty position that they're currently in. So... I'm thinking about occupying that hill over there, or any of the hills in the near vicinity. Hashtag blame Crassus for being greedy. Alright. Um. Yeah, this is not a bad hill, but it's way too far away. We're not gonna get there. I feel like the infantry will lag behind and only get intercepted and scattered. We don't have the mobility, which is a problem. We only have like two units of cavalry, the rest of them are infantry. While of course on the other hand the enemy has only cavalry units. The lovely cataphracts and the Persian cavalry that they have, aka the horse archers. Oh yeah, let's not forget this interesting general over here, which is just taunting us. So yeah, we're gonna steamroll that mother uh, trucker. <laughs> but first, let's get into standard formation. Let's make everyone fire at will. And let's uh, get the hell out of there. Transition time. Alright, I've set the formation. I've told everyone where they should go. Now, let's cover our retreat. So I'm gonna use the cavalry to repel the horse archers. We're not gonna engage them, we're only gonna chase them away. The idea is to provide breathing room for our troops in order for them to retreat. While we constantly switch targets with the cavalry, like for example that unit over there, on the right. And we're gonna switch now. So, you attack over here. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna constantly run around chasing cavalry. We just want to keep away at least two or three units in order for us to, you know, save as much men as we can. And hopefully nobody will get separated from the main force. This should be enough. Get back, General. We're pulling back. So far, so good. Uh, looks like our... Yeah, looks like we're gonna be able to catch some of these. I'm confident that our Roman cavalry will actually deal significant losses to these guys. So, maybe that's one less unit of cavalry archers to worry about. Just in case, I'm gonna send the general that way. Hey, hey, what a surprise. They won the fight. Amazing. All right. You two, get in here. I want the cavalry to cover the flanks of our infantry on the hill. 
Oh wait, huh. I forgot about that one general that they had. All right, I'm gonna sacrifice one unit to hold them in position. And hopefully the cavalry will manage to get in here in time. Come on guys, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, that's a nice charge. Get him, get him. Free up that infantry, we're gonna need it. Yeah, get in position, get in position. Uh, wait, no. I want you guys a little bit closer. Everyone will fire at will. And I want you, just because you sustained some damage, over here in the back. Okay, we've managed to reach the hill without losing a lot of men. And I believe that we should be able to win that cavalry engagement, right? We should be able to do that, yeah. We have them surrounded. You guys, a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. And you four. Behind them. General is running away. Nice. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Get back information, don't chase. Start firing, guys, start firing. Let him taste hell. Okay, I need one cavalry unit on the left. Actually, you know what? Yeah, one one cavalry unit on the left, one on the right. You guys stop them, come on. Support over here. General over there. Move it, move it. Want you to deal with these guys. And the general should charge from behind. This is the moment of truth, lads. Hold your ground. Get the rest of the cataphracts, come on. Come on, Cav. Fight, men, fight! Don't you dare run. Oh, wow, I'm focusing so hard on this. Um, okay, okay, okay. Don't chase, guys, don't chase. Get in position. Without the, without the general, of course. Get in position, get in position. Over there. Cavalry, over there, you're ready, come on. Don't just sit there. Amazing, amazing. And that's how you deal with the cavalry. That's how you deal with the goddamn cattle frags. Oh, here we go. Not a charge. Get him. Uh, I need a cavalry unit for support, come on. General. Move it, move it, move it. Get in there. You guys support. This is the moment that will change history. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Amazing. The general has fallen. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Yeah, keep running. All right, all right. Get in position, guys. Get in position. Don't chase. I forgot to set the, the guard mode. Anyways, we've set it now. All right, amazing, amazing. We've managed to clear the heavy cavalry. Now it's time to deal with the horse archers. All right, these guys have rallied. We don't have anyone behind us, which is good. Um, yeah, that's right. There's only horse archers left. Amazing. Let's see if we can chase them away. And focus only on one front. Because currently it's not looking good. I mean, it's, 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 don't get me wrong, it's good. But it's not looking that good. Don't overextend, come on. Our men are already tired, which is... Also not good. Uh, okay. This is not good. We, we need to charge down the hill. We need to do something unless... We're under attack. 
Unless we want to get shot to pieces. Uh, okay, okay. We're gonna charge down the hill. I want you guys to attack these. The rest of you, attack the other one. You, here. There goes nothing. Let's get him, boys. Yeah, you're not so tough, huh? Alright, alright. Amazing, amazing. That's one last unit to worry about, I hope. That was a good charge. Oh, we're not gonna not gonna be able to attack the the other front as well. Um Okay, okay, Pixel, calm down. <laughs> uh yeah, we're gonna get back on the hill because that also provides a little bit of cover. And we're gonna play it a little bit defensively. We're gonna set our men into studio. Because of course that'll give us a little bit more protection from missile fire. And if we're lucky, these guys will run out of ammunition before our men run out of, well, life. <laughs> Form the studio, boys. We're gonna do our best to weather the storm. We're being More or less we're waiting for an opening. Uh, either a cavalry unit that comes a little bit closer like these guys. Get him! Now's the chance! No, 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 don't run away, don't run away. Poor souls. You can't run away because we already have you by the throat. Get wrecked. All right, all right, all right. Get back in position, guys. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, we're waiting for an opening. Either uh, they're gonna run out of ammunition and come charging at us, or uh, they're gonna overextend like they did just now, and we're gonna spank them. Yeah. Spanking and tanking. Here's the true definition of that strategy. <laughs> Now ideally, the best way to deal with horse archers is if you have archers on your own. Because, you know, horses are a bigger target and they're more likely to get hit. However, we don't really have archers in this uh, historical battle, so... The best thing that we can do, just because we're less mobile than these guys, is just to tank as much as we can. Let's do our best and face the direction of the arrows. Oh yeah, and there's another bonus to just holding position like we're doing right now. Uh, this way, we're gonna have the chance to rest up our men. And hopefully, I know I say that a lot, our troops will be a lot more effective when we need to, you know, put down the effort. Or in this case, put down the effort of charging and covering distance fast. And fighting, of course. General. Now, the worst thing that you can do is clump up your men like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna try to separate our folks a little bit. Wait. Oh, there's... Ah. Looks like we have another unit over here. We're gonna try to deal with it. Or at least scare them away. For the time being. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's try to raise the morale of our men. Stand your ground! Stand your ground! Okay, 
these guys are trying to shoot at us. He was kind of like covering us. However, it appears that they're targeting our cavalry, so we're gonna move back a little bit. Let's see if that will bait any of them to come charging at our infantry. We're down to only a handful of our Roman cavalry. Um, that's okay. Yeah, these guys are moving up. Amazing. Oh wait, that unit will charge us. Out of out of the studio, guys! Come on, pin them down. Now we need the cavalry to get here. Come on. You guys, your tank. Yeah, you're not running away. Well, most of you are not running away. Okay. Back into Studo, you know the drill. I really don't want these guys to come back, so... The Roman cavalry will continue chasing these. While we get back with the general. You guys into Studo. I don't think that we're gonna need the Roman cavalry anymore because let's be honest they've played their part they're down to four men but we're gonna pull them back nevertheless because we kind of need all the men that we can get and I don't think that that unit is coming back anymore or they should not be coming back and now I kind of imagined how they come back and like beat us to a pulp uh, let's hope that I'm wrong all right in this case I don't know Hey, would you look at that? We have one centurion. Good job surviving that, buddy. Units! And we're gonna pull back the cavalry because Units! once again hurry, they're targeting hurry! it. Well, at least they're wasting ammunition. Oh wow, we have one guy over here. Um, I'm sorry to say this, buddy, but you're probably not gonna survive. But hey, get back. Uh, wish you the best. Oh, those bastards. They've... They've shot him down. We're gonna make him pay. They're climbing the hill. And I'm ready for it. Get him! Get him! Now is the chance, boys! Out of formation! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Charge! Yeah, our heavy cavalry should be able to deal with these guys. Nice. So that only leaves one unit of horse archers that we need to deal with. I'm really considering the option of just charging them. And hopefully that'll break their morale and they'll run. Hmm. There's not a lot of them. Maybe we can do that. And maybe we can get shot down in the process. Uh, hmm. This is the best decision over here. Maybe charging them. Although if you wanna... If we wanna play it safe... We can just wait for them to run out of ammunition. And then charge them. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take I'll take the risk. You know what? I'll take the risk. Let's get him, boys. These guys should be real low on morale. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this started running. We're gonna increase the speed. Our guys are exhausted. They're exhausted as well. The 
enemies show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. And they broke. Still, I cannot believe that we managed to save that idiot Crassus from having a gold bar for dinner. <laughs> That was such an awful situation. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with history and what happened to Crassus, please look it up. That way you'll be able to catch the, the, the reference with the gold bar. So there you have it, folks. By the grace of the gods, we've managed to win the Battle of Kere and rewrite history. There's only two more engagements remaining from the historical battles in Rome Dota War, so try to finish them as soon as possible. And of course, I'll post the achievement on the community tab once we're done with it. But anyways, I hope you had fun, and I'll catch all you lovely folks out there in the next one. Roma Invicta!